You might want to consider keeping that in a safer place. How did you know? I didn't. I took an educated guess. You just confirmed it. <sighs> Damn, it's like the oldest trick in the book. Pretend you know and let the suspect fill in the blanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little off your game. No wonder your mother's so worried about you. You know a lot. Yes. <sighs> what? Can you convince her to leave town or something? Fire her? I don't care. <laughs> I don't think so. You know your mother. She uh, she does what she pleases. Plus, she's an excellent operations manager. I mean, I would never let her go. Do you understand the kind of danger she's in if anyone finds out about well, this? Well, you're the one that came into town. So the sooner you get Sonny off the street, the better it will be. Wait a minute, you want me to bust Sonny? I want him to go to prison for the rest of his life. Any particular reason? There's a whole bunch of reasons but mainly because my family will be safer with him there. So I will help you any way I can to make your case against Sonny. You're supposed to be at school. I left. Want to tell me why? I'm starting to remember things that never happened. Like what? You don't forget it. I don't even... I'm not supposed to upset you. No. No, don't do that, because you shutting me out upsets me. Okay, well, I was about to lose it with that jerk, Kiefer, and then out of nowhere, I had this memory. What did you remember? That's, that Sam came to see me at the Institute, but it turns out she didn't. So now, you know, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm having all these things flash through my head, and I don't know what's a memory or, or what's a dream. What things are you remembering? People standing by my bed saying things like I told you. But what are these people saying? You know, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have never brought it up, you know, especially with you. So you remember what people are saying? What is it? I mean, what difference does it make if they're not real? Okay. You had a tough day today, didn't you? So far. I hate Madison. <laughs> hate it. Well, it could have been worse. I could have driven by and waved or dragged you out of there. You wouldn't really have done that. That's pretty close. You could ask Jax. I'm afraid I'm going crazy. Do you remember when I was in the coma? When Morgan was born? I was out for a long time. And I went to this entirely new place, you know? I, a totally different life, and even though I knew it wasn't real, it felt real. So, I mean, how did you handle it? It took me a long time to connect with people, and I was... I was terrified. But eventually things started to make sense, and they will for you too, Michael, they will. But I mean, if I can remember what Stop really happened... You remember what you remember, and you leave it at that. Just don't put so much pressure on yourself. We already have our miracle. You're awake. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking pizza. <laughs> and I know you're hungry. I could eat. Yeah. But if we went to Andretti's, you'd have to order the salad. Not if we don't tell Jax. If anyone finds out I'm a cop, my mother and I will both be dead. Do you understand that? Then they better not find out. And you have no reservations whatsoever about what I'm going to do to Sonny? One. Morgan, he likes you. Concerned what it's going to do to him when you bring his father down. Look, I hate the idea of hurting that kid. But when I take his father down, maybe he'll realize that no one is above the law. Not even Sonny Quintos. It's a valuable lesson, and one that might hurt him, but it might also save Morgan's life in the end. Living in Sonny's house will give you access to evidence. So you better work fast before anyone else figures out who you are. Is that any way to greet a wounded man? Don't get cute with me. Uh, why are you so hostile? Are you still afraid 
I'll tell Sonny you hired me to take out Jason Don't in the ambush. threaten me, Dominic. I might feel the need to defend myself. Mm. Hi, honey. It's just making our guests feel welcome. Hey. Hey, let's go out early today. Uh, no. Michael left because uh, he remembered something. Except what I remembered didn't happen. What do, you, what do you mean exactly? Well, you know, the, the things that I'm saying I've had memories of may not ever have happened. And I know that's a stupid reason to ditch school on the first day. I owe you guys both an apology. I don't want you to worry so much about upsetting me. Having you around is so good for me. And I would have given anything to talk to you like this when you were lying in that bed. I'm sorry, Michael, I never meant for you to get shot. I was trying to protect my brother. Not that that excuses what I did. I sent the gunman. I gave the order. It's my fault that you got shot.